Hi, it's Mr. T here. Um, so I've got a series of Lewis diagrams here or Lewis shapes and what I want you to do is see if you can uh, identify what is the shape of the molecule that it will form. So and you're going to be using the number of electron density regions and knowing that they push away from each other as far as possible to work out their shape. If you want to as well, see if you can think about what the angle might be. So this first shape here is sulfur dioxide. Um, is it trigonal planar, A, B, bent or V-shaped or C, linear? Of course, this is a bent or V-shaped. has angles of 120 degrees. Okay, let's have a look at the next shape. So this is methane, CH4. So is this A, trigonal planar, B, tetrahedral, or C, linear. From this, we can see that it's tetrahedral, has angles of 109 degrees, because all four of these electron density regions push away from each other as far as possible. So this is boron trihydride. Remember, boron only has six, six, a maximum of six electrons around it. So is this lower structure here a trigonal planar, B tetrahedral, or C trigonal pyramidal? Of course, this is trigonal planar because there are three electron density regions around the central boron pushing away from each other. Name the shape of ammonia. So is this shape here trigonal pyramidal, A, B, trigonal planar, or C, bent or V-shaped. This is a trigonal pyramidal shape because the basic shape of this molecule is a tetrahedral because there are four electron density regions pushing away from each other. But because only three of the regions are bonding, we make this trigonal pyramidal or trigonal pyramid shape. Okay, and let's have a look at this Lewis diagram. This is a Lewis diagram of H2O or water. Um, is its shape going to be A, linear, B, trigonal planar, or C, bent V-shaped? Don't let the initial Lewis diagram fool you. This is a bent V-shape. This is not linear because remember it's based on the base shape of a tetrahedral with four electron density regions pushing away from each other for maximum separation. So we get this angle of 109 degrees between the bonds. Right, so here is another molecule. This is carbon dioxide, CO2. You can see two double bonds around the carbon here. Um, is this going to produce a, a linear shape, B tetrahedral shape, or C bent shape? Of course, this produces a linear shape with only two electron density regions around the central carbon atom. They repel or push away from each other for maximum separation to produce angles of 180 degrees. OK, here is our seventh molecule. This is a carbon with uh, two hydrogens and two fluorides coming off it. What shape does it produce? A, trigonal pyramidal. B, tetrahedral, C, bent or V-shaped. Of course, with four bonds around the central atom, they are four electron density regions pushing away from each other for as much as possible, we're going to produce a tetrahedral shape. OK, last molecule here. This is... Um, N with a you know, double bond to an oxygen, single bond to a chlorine. We want to know whether this is A, trigonal planar, B, bent or V-shaped, or C, linear. Of course, the trick here is to realize that each of the single bond, the double bond, and the lone pair are electron density regions that push away from each other the same amount, producing this angle of 120 degrees or a bent V-shape. Remember, its base shape here was trigonal planar. 
Okay, let's go and have just a wee summary of what we've just done. So very quickly, just see if you can jot down and identify the shapes of these seven molecules using what we've just gone over. Remember, you're focusing on counting how many electron density regions are around the outside, and from that, identifying the base shape and the angles to identify what the overall shape will be. I'll give you another 10 seconds and then I'll go through the answer. If you need extra time, pause the video and then restart it. So the first molecule is bent or V-shaped. Then we have the second one here. This is a trigonal planar. The third one, four regions, three of them bonding. We have trigonal pyramid, or trigonal pyramidal. Here, if we just have two atoms bonded to each other, the only shape we can get is linear. The next shape, four regions pushing against each other, but they are all bonding, tetrahedral. The sixth shape here is two regions pushing away from each other as far as possible. This is going to be linear. And the last one, we have these three electron density regions, but only two are bonding. So this is going to be bent or V-shaped. I hope this has helped. Um, look, if you're still not 100% sure of this or need practice, just go and have another go at this video until you are getting the shapes correct for all the lower structures you see. Good luck.